We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. Ready now, Andrew Benintendi. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. A cool 47 degrees tonight at first pitch. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And there's one gone to begin the evening. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run, and no one will track it down. Another payoff pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Pedroia's around first, heading for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Batting first, the designated hitter, J.D. To the plate now, J.D. Martinez. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And it's gone. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Three runs already home here. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Digging the in, Mitch Moreland, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Lined hard toward right center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. That is seven. The right fielder, number 99. Alex. Stepping in now, Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Now a curveball misses inside. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 0 advantage now. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly, so it's now a 5 0 game. So here now is Jackie Bradley. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 1 2. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly by Davis, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Standing in, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home is strike two swinging. I got to count one and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Good, Able to protect the plate with two strikes and he'll see another one. Another 1-2 delivery. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Third base. 
Franklin. Hunter. Alberto. At the plate now, Hanser Alberto. Fastball called strike. One and two. One and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Fastball right back to the mound. To second for one. On to Moreland, and it's a double play. Now at the plate, Trey Mancini. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike two balls and two strikes to Mancini now that was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side Back to the top of the order now, and with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Iglesias now at short, reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Now the one and one pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now that designated hit. JD. Into the box, JD Martinez. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. Mancini is there and he has it for the out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry. Here's the one and two delivery. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Santander on the run, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Brandon Bailey enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Now picking for the order. Number 59. At the plate, Rafael Devers. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Pudroya at third. Bogarts at second with two gone. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. And here's Renato Nunez, and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. A two and one count to Nunez. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Line toward right center. Well, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. He's coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night line drive to center field and he'll reach down to make the catch as he takes that one right off his shoe tops for the second out Austin Hayes the next to bat it was a two hit effort for him including a home run in last night's game 1-1 one, one. is looked at for ball number two good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss 
Sail into the windup. 2-2 on its way. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Riding in for Boston, Mitch Moreland. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Hit softly down the line at first. Set to deal on two and two. Three balls, two strikes. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3-2. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. The right fielder, number nine. Riding in once again, Alex Verdugo. He reached on a single in his first try. One and one, here it comes. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. One gone here in the Boston third. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Andrew Benintendi would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out here and a runner at second. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Andrew. To the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, what a stop on the slide. And give it up on a phenomenal play to retire the side. Ready now for Baltimore. Ramon Urias. And they are squarely into chip away mode. Looking at a 6-0 deficit already in this one. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Grounded to third. This could be two. Devers has it. Pedroia on to first, and it's another double play. Already two of them here in the first three innings so far. Here's Chris Davis now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 3-1 coming to Davis. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Now to the plate, Dustin Pedroia. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. The 2-1. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Pitch on the way. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Looped out toward third. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. 
takes this the other way to right. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now that so two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. The one two. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now and that'll bring up the shortstop Jose Iglesias. The two one home. He's in there for strike number two. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Now batting, the third baseman, Alberto. Alberto. Standing in now, Hanser Alberto. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping into the box, Rafael Devers. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 2 1. Is laid off of for ball number three. Mitch Moreland will be next. Popped him up. Davis over to his left. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. That's lifted the other way out to left. Santander waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. One for two on his line so far in the game. Verdugo. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And the ball is dropped. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Now back, catcher, Christian. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for route number three. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Into the box now, Anthony Santander Anthony. hit it hard, but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. Control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting, Austin Hayes. Batting. He was a strikeout no, victim in his first try. Austin. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away hey. with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see 
if he tries to cheat to something this AB. The count now at two and one. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. A uh, full count now for the Orioles center fielder. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, and no one will track it down. He'll try it again, three and two. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. At the plate, Ramon Urias. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Fly ball right down the line and left. Benintendi in pursuit. And he makes the catch in the corner. Stepping in, Pedro Severino comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So now to the plate, Chris Davis. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Richard Blyer takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Orioles. Number 48. Ready for another shot now. Jackie Bradley Jr. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Grounded to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Stepping in now, Andrew Benintendi. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Six runs, ten hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Swing a soft liner. The second for one. Related Davis, and indeed it's a double play. Now with the play, Dustin Pedroia. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. of the sixth inning now back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in Jose Iglesias he singled his last time up a ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop high and deep down the left field line and this is going to wind up a foul ball Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Hanser Alberto. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least, so you know he wants to make up for it right here. This one's down to third. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Wade LeBlanc will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Now 
Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Hit back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The bat, number two, Georgia, Xander Bogart. Into the box, Xander Bogart. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Now another 2-2. And he got him. Here now is Rafael Devers. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The third baseman. Rafael Devers. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Moreland. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 2-2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. 3-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. With a traditional Leading off the inning, Renato Nunez. And they'll need him to get something going here. A 1-1. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Bradley is there. Makes the play one away. Striding into the box, Anthony Santander. 0 for 2 on his line this far. Three runs, three hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Ready once again. Austin Hayes. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Two strikes. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Ramon Urias would be next. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. So far, two for three in this one. Now the one and one pitch sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now back. Catcher. Christian. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. Little chopper back to the mound. To Iglesias for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Here's now Jackie back. Bradley now. Two for three with a double on his line so far. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Your Matt Barnes please. will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Matt 
Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Ramon Urias. He flew out in his last at bat. The one two it is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Pedro Severino. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. Just a couple of matchups. No hits in two at bats. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Sean Armstrong enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. High in the air out to center field. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. The Stepping up now, Dustin Pedroia. Two hits in four attempts to this point. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Two two one more time. Skied into straightaway right. Mancini is there. Two down. Now the Red Sox DH. JD Martinez. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Three and one to Martinez. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Now the three and two pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Brandon Workman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 44. Brandon. Bottom of the inning now. So striding in, Jose Iglesias. He's two for three and looking for more here. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. A ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. Lifted in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One down. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here now the 2-2. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. Two gone. Late Trey Mancini, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now the one and one pitch. Go, 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 go. 
Baltimore down to their final strike. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Chasing after it is Verdugo, but it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Now back, the designated In now, Renato Nunez. Fouled away. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Again, another foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the skipper has to be pleased. They go on the road and win the first two of this three-game series. Playing for the sweep tomorrow. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Bo Sox came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Chris Sale earns the win his second as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Asher Wojciechowski was unable to work out of the second inning as he saddled with the loss. Brandon Workman records the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Six runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Orioles, three runs, four hits. No errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 11 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.